Hey guys, this is Griff. I'm new to the YouTube community. I'm here to open up some time spiral with you. If you guys enjoy the video, leave a like. Uh, comment if you wanted that special card from this set, if I got it. Uh, knowing my luck, it's probably not going to be that good. So, let's get into it. Breaking the seal. Honestly, um, only after a few cards from the set. Um, nothing too big, you know. Maybe a Prime Evil Titan. That'd be pretty nice. Other than that, uh, let's just uh, have a good time, you know. Alright. So there's that. We'll start off with... Uh, The right. We'll start off with the right. Okay. Ooh. Let's get that smell real quick. Hold on. Yeah. That smells like magic. All right. So here we got a bunch of the commons. We're a little late to the game for opening uh, up Time Spiral, but you know, it's always a good time cracking some packs. So. Uh, here are the uncommons. Oh, first open. We got a mythic. Alright. Ooh. Time shifted. Uh, Stonehorn. That's pretty good. Ooh, a looter. Foil. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Alright, I'm gonna set these aside. I'll keep the rares and, uh, on the time spiraled, time shifted cards, sorry. Okay, let's get the commons out of here. Okay. Enslave is our first uncommon. Careful consideration, instant, not bad. Darkheart Sliver. Ooh, Venser. That's okay. And uh, Time Shifted uh, Cloud Shredder Sliver. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, that's just second pack. So let's fly through these. Get the uncommons out. Oh, alright. We got Fury Sliver, uh, Mycologist, Joda's Avenger, ooh, Mary the Curse, that's pretty good. Oh, the wrong pile. Ooh, Lava Spike, oh my god, we got a Gary, time shifted Gary, look at that, that is a gem. so beautiful. Gonna put it right in the sleeve. That is a keeper. Gotta put it in our perfect fit so that way it's nice and secured. Look at that. That is just... Oh wow. Put that with the foil pile I guess. Well, not too bad. Fourth pack in. No, third pack. Jeez. That's that's pretty good. <laughs> Usually I have bad luck, like I said. But Alright, we got Celestial Crusader. Uh, Pendlehaven Elder. Uh, Cautery Sliver. Cautery Sliver. We got Boom and Bust for our rare. Path to Exile, ooh, nice, time shifted, and a prismatic lens foil, not too bad. Uh, all the commons. I don't know how to read that word, so we're not going to even say it. <laughs> I think that is... Uh, 
Fetisis for our uncommon uh, storm entity. Rebuff the wicked. Ooh, cloud key. Ooh, courser of crucifix. Pretty nice. I like that. That's a good. That's a good time shifted card right there for sure. All right, the commons. Oh yes, one of my personal favorites. Uh, Avon Mind Sensor. Just love that. You can't search your library. Flash. It's pretty good. Uncommon. Uh, Dread Ship Reef. Uh, Pendlehaven Elder. And a Flagstones of Trakir. It's not too bad. Ooh, and a Beast Within. That's pretty good. There's a Beast Within all of you too. Don't forget. Brute force. That's what would what we do around here. Open these packs with brute force. All right, there we go. Salt field uh, recluse. Not too bad. Nightshade assassin. Sulfur elemental and a stuffy doll. Oof. And we got the teamer battle mage. And a micro. Mycologist. I'm probably reading that wrong. That's, that's all right. Simeon Spirit Guide. That's not too bad. I think that was banned in a format recently. We got Molten uh, Slag Heap as our first uncommon. Uh, Riptide Pilfer. Dune Rider uh, Outlaw, and a Magus of the Moon, and Secret Plans is our time shifted card. Not too bad. That Gary though is just still catching my eye over there. Okay. Prismatic Lens. Ooh, I. Love, I I love this card. I don't know why, just the Seal of Primordium is just very good, in my opinion. Uh, an enchantment that sits on the field to destroy another artifact or enchantment. Uh, Sulfur Elemental, pretty nice. Uh, Salt Field Recluse, uh, careful consideration. Oh man, not too, not too good. Oh, is that a young Pyromancer? It is. Uh, yeah, we got Ith, uh, High Arcanist, not too bad. And uh, Young Pyromancer, pretty good. We're trying to get those time shifted foils. That's why we're opening these packs, so. All right, ooh, did I really go through that fast? I did. Uh, Return to Dust, I like it. Uh, Harmonic Sliver, pretty good. Imperiosaur. Um, Thelonite Hermit, pretty good. It's alright for all your sapperling needs, but. Um, Evolutionary Leap, ooh, pretty good. Ooh, that's a nice foil right there. Temporal Isolation, Flash, Enchanted Creature, Enchanted Creature has Shadow. Prevent all damage that would be dealt by Enchanted Creature. Hmm, interesting. I know Shadow's a older mechanic. For sure. I think even before my time, I started in M10, so. <sighs> Alright, first uncommon in this pack is Gaia's Anthem. Ooh, another Avon Mind Sensor. Uh, Sivian uh, Sand Mage. Oh, nice. We got a Urbo. Or, oh my god, Urbog. Sorry. Urborg. Tomb of Yogmoth. Ooh, with a crystal shard. Nice. I like it. That's a good pack. Thinking about put, putting that crystal shard in my Maelstrom deck just to give my commander a little bit more uh, evasion, really. Also, just to keep cascading, cascading. You know. Alright. Um, we got a 
Prodigal uh, Pyromancer, pretty good. Nightshade Assassin, uh, Sliver Smith, and an Angel of Salvation is our rare for the pack with the time shifted uh, Liliana's Triumph. That is all right. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so our next and un first uncommon of the pack is Pongify, pretty good. Cautery Sliver, Gaia's Anthem, and uh, Taloria's West, not too bad. With an epic experiment, it's pretty good. Even a little bit more space over here. Might shift these down a bit, just so I can have a lot more. Yeah, that works way better. All right. First uncommon, uh, Tromp the Domains. Uh, Muck Drub. He looks so sad, just look at him. Kind of looks like me, to be honest. Uh, sudden Shock. Yeah. Oh, so I'm shocked. Yeah, we're at the rare. Jeez. Forgot about that. Oh, nice. We got the summoners packed. And a brawl. Chief of Compliance. I like that. I like that guy. Instance and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. And whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. It's pretty good. I mean, what else is blue going to do, though, right? <laughs> All right, we got the Clockwork Hydra for our first uncommon. Sorry if I'm revealing the pack a little bit. Salt Blast, uh, Scrib Ranger. Ooh, with a Dryad Arbor. I like that one a lot. I've always been fascinated with the whole uh, creature is a land type. I'm trying to build a Jun deck around making people's lands into creatures and then blowing them up with some kind of negative effect. I know you're, the comments are probably saying I hate you. And that's fine. I'm cool with that. I hate myself too. Uh, Elvish Mystic as our time shifted. Ooh, with a glittering wish for a foil rare. That's not too bad, right? It's pretty good. I will sleeve that one up. Might be worth something. I'm not sure. There you go. Seal her up. Send her to the bank. All right, we are about halfway done with the box opening. Still have a. We haven't hit many mythics yet, have we? Uh, I think just the one in the first. Right now, the Crovax. So we should be hitting that nice mythic pack patch, actually. So. All right, we got the Griffin Guide, an enchantment, pretty good. Uh, Yixlid, a jailer. Uh, Fire Ma Ka uh, Kabu, with a Pact of Negation. Yes, that is pretty good. I like it. And then we got Slime Foot, for all you uh, people that have Toe Jam. That's what uh, this guy right here. He's wedged in between your toes and uh, and your nails down there. Yeah, just be careful. Hygiene, guys, it's important. All right. <sighs> Let's see what's in this one. We got a rough trouble. Uh, the split cards always throw me off because they're just so small, like the, like those mini decks that they got out now, which is kind of uh, odd, but I mean, hey, to each their own. Uh, Poltice Sliver, cool. Ooh, Mirboa. And an Acroma's Memorial. That's nice. There's our second Mythic, I believe. 
with the time shifted abrupt decay. That's a pretty good pack right there. Mythic and uh, rare. But, I mean, abrupt decay. Come on. Everybody knows that. That's good. That's a good one. All right, on to the next one. Ooh, smallpox. There we go. Starting it off with uh, smallpox. Uh, Knight of the Holy Nimbus. Is that is that Goku? I don't know. Uh, Conflagrate. That's uh, interesting. Double X. Conflagrate deals. X damage divided as you choose among any number of targets. Flashback. Ooh. And we got a Mangara. Yeah, that's okay. With a Trinket Mage. That's a pretty weak pack, but I mean... Gotta get him. Gotta get him out of the way so that way we hit the good stuff. Right, guys? Alright. Going to the Uncommons. We got Necrotic Sliver. I've never been a real big sliver fan, so uh, if you guys can persuade me in the comments, I would uh, I would enjoy that. I just never found them to be uh, strong, but I mean, maybe it's not just to be strong, maybe it's just to have fun. Celestial Crusader, Phantom Worm, uh, Greater Gargadon, that's pretty good. Oh, the Suspend 10 guy, oof, with a Molten Rain, that was a red pack for sure if I've ever seen one. All right, let's keep on trucking. We got the Haze of Rage with the Big Game Hunter, Rift Wing uh, Cloudscape, and a Joyra. It's not too bad with the Anger of the Gods. Oh, with a Rift Bolt Foil. Not too bad. That's pretty good. Alright, we should be getting into the real good hits soon, right? We're done with two piles, or almost two piles. Yeah, we only got three here. So nine. About 15 more packs, I believe. Okay, let's just keep going. That's fine. Lana War Mentor. That's not too too bad for an uncommon. We got Urza's Factory. Uh, Time Bender. It's pretty good. Ooh, with a sudden spoiling. It's pretty good. It's decent. And Past in Flames, huh? Hmm. Is it? I think these are a little bit off trimmed, aren't they? Like the top is very thin and the bottom is. Yeah, they, these are. Uh, Pretty off centered, I'd say. But put the rares up here. There we go. All right. Oh, yep. Already in the uncommons. Perfect. We got the heart, uh, dark heart sliver, and slave. Uh, Sivian sand mage. Not too bad. Ooh, life and limb. See, this is what I was uh, inspired for. The all fours and sapperlings are one ones. Creature uh, are one one. Uh, green sapperling creature and forests are lands. In addition, oh wait, wait, oh my god, my English, my reading ability is horrible. All forests and sapperlings are one one green sapperling creatures and forest lands. In addition to their other types, there's uh, some pretty good stuff out there that will affect other forests uh, on the board. So. Not too bad, though. Uh, that's our rare. Far Seek. That's pretty good. I like that. Time shifted. Not too bad. With a foil, uh, Sliversmith. All right. Ooh, the Stone Cloaker. That guy... I remember seeing my buddies play this when I first started uh, Magic, and I was just mind-blown that you could play a creature during your opponent's turn and 
just to affect them with a, a block or just make them think twice about everything that, that they were doing. Uh, we got the Fireway Sliver. Uh, skittering Monstrosity. With a Tomb Stalker. Hmm. And a blight, Blightened Woodland. That's a pretty weak pack, I, I gotta say. I think we've only opened up two Mythics so far. I'm kind of, uh... Kind of expect, expecting that hit, you know what I'm saying? Just boom, boom, there it is. We'll see, though. All right, uh, into the uncommons. Uh, Might of Old Karasa. Uh, Salt Crusted Steep. Uh, thick Skin Goblin. God, look at his grin that he's got. Hey. I see you watching my video. It's alright. Okay. Ooh, with the Walk of Aeons. There we go. I know a lot of people hate taking extra turns or opponents taking extra turns, but I mean, we could be nice and give our opponents the extra turn. I'm not sure how many people feel about that one, but I wouldn't mind. And the Colsila Pride Mage. Oh, sorry for being off camera. And we got a Strangling Soot as our foil. So far this box has uh, been pretty, uh, I would say below average to be honest. Besides that, Gary. Not too sure. We'll see though, we still got a bunch of backs. Still got all this. Alright, into the uncommons. Char Rambler. Spellburst, Calciderm, uh, Calciderm, with a Caravac, the Merciless, oof, with the Chalice of, oh no, Everflowing Chalice, that's pretty good, whoa, with the Dread Return, that is pretty good for Reanimator, right? Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, flashback, sacrifice three creatures, you may cast this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then exile. That is not too bad. I mean, if you got a lot of little tokens that you don't really care for and whatever you got in your graveyard, that's that's a pretty good reanimator spell, I'd say. All right, let's leave this one up and then on to the next. Cool. I foresee us hitting the lottery. I don't know how true that is, but I mean, we all win some sometimes, right? Uh, okay, here we go. Shivan Meteor, Cord, uh, Dirge, Cryptic Analid, with the what? What, what, what is this? <laughs> Muragonda. Pet petroglyph glyphs uh, creatures with no abilities get plus two plus two hmm oh my god there we go we got the chalice of the void that's pretty good artifact that counters stuff for whatever counters you have on there it's pretty good we did foresee us getting something right Alright, just gonna jump at the uncommons, there we go. We got the Paradise Plume. Uh, Primal Force Mage. Mythical Teachings. And a Sarah's Avenger. That's not too bad. With a Banishing Light Time Shift. That's pretty good. Okay, we're getting in that last chunk right now. We should be hitting those mythics anytime. Anytime. All right. Oh, I just jumped right to the rare. I was too excited. We got the Dusk Rider uh, Perrigan. 
uh, Basalt Gargoyle, uh, Stronghold Rats, and the Plumonic Sliver with the Cranial Plating. That's pretty neat. I like that frame though. That's really good. It actually complements the helm and everything. They did a, Watsy did a good job on this product, I believe. I don't know how much they're going to print of this or if there's still uh, errors with shipping and all that. You know, whatever the pandemic excuse is, it's, it's fine. Maybe they're just lying to us and they have plenty, but they're just trying to slowly release the product to hype up and keep the the stores from getting a hold of it. Make them pay more for it. Uh, rough trouble. First uncommon. Might of Old Carassa. Salt Crested Steep. And a Lotus Bloom. Nice. That's pretty good. Ooh, and a Felden of the Third Path. That's pretty that's a pretty good pack right there. Alright. Here we go. We got the Storm Cloud Djinn. Return to Dust. Imperiosaur. With the Magus of the Future. Hmm. Magus, can you please tell us that we're going to get some more Mythics? Because uh, we've only got six packs and we've only gotten two Mythics so far. It's kind of low. So, come on. All right, there's our rare. Ooh, time shifted, uh, Gurma Gurmag uh, Angler, and a oof foiled Caravac. That's uh, I just might want to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I won't do that. I mean, it's probably not worth anything, anyways. But uh, we won't. We won't start off the channel like that. That's just. <laughs> A lot of hate comments. Why would you do that? It's magic. It's just a game, guys. It's just a game. All right. We got the premature burial as our first uncommon. Stormfront Rider. Utopia, Mycon, Jaya, Ballard, Boo, and a hollow one. Just like me, hollow. Dead inside. At this point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, first video. Sorry if it's taking this long, guys. Uh, I'm very new to this, as you could probably tell by the way I'm talking. Camera shy, okay? Give me a break. Uh, we got the Arc Blade. That's our first uncommon in this pack. Uh, Joda's Avenger. Street Wraith. Can anybody mention their exes without saying their name? <laughs> Street Wraith. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Ooh, there we go. Wheel of Fate. Not too bad. It's pretty good. What's our time shifted? Ooh, with Ancient Stirrings. That's pretty solid. Um, I, I feel like we should be getting one more Mythic out of this box, because, uh, honestly, guys, it's only three right now. We've got the Acroma's Memorial, the Cro Crovax, and the Wheel of Fate. Other than that, yeah, we've hit some pretty good packs, though. The Walk of the Aeons, the Pact of Negation, that's pretty good. So, overall, not too bad, but I was expecting a little bit more from this, to be honest. Oh, we got a foil over there. Uh, Haze of Rage. Cool. Minions Murmur. <laughs> Tromp the Domains. With a Rada. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oh, Sylvan Scrying. That's pretty good. I like that. Time shifted right there. Um, what do you do, Arint? Uh, you do nothing besides suspend and fly. Hmm. Maybe you should go suspend yourself out of this video. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Later. <laughs> He'll come back. They always do. Alright. Uh, Myclogist. Yavamaya Dryad. Dormant Sliver with a draining whelk in a field of ruin. And I'm feeling uh, quite ruined myself, to be honest, at this point. And I did make a boo-boo. I'm sorry, I will fix that before anybody says anything. All right, this is second to last pack. Uh, let's get that last pack magic. Um, maybe a foil time shifted anything. One more. I know that it's like one to two per box, but uh, we'll see. Who knows? All right. Minions Murmur. Uh, Brian Elemental. Harmonize. Let's harmonize and get some value. Uh oh. Oh. Hardwood Storyteller. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, each of that player's opponents may draw a card. Oh, that's like a group hug card, right? Yeah. Mortified. Uh, yeah, at this point, that's, that's me right now, behind the camera. I have four arms so I can cradle my head just the way that this person's doing it, okay? I'll never show my face. Let's, uh, last pack magic, okay? Hey, hey, be good. You be good, okay? Let's see what we get. All right, sudden shock. Come on, be, be something, anything. Oh, we got the delay. That's pretty good, yeah. For an uncommon, that's really good. Might sliver. Might we get some value? No, we got a glistening wish. Oh my goodness. Oh, with a pack. True name. That's okay. That was worth it. That was a good pack. Um, overall, yeah, we, we got, I feel, uh, the low end on this pack, really. I mean, uh, overall, let's check this pile. Uh, Dryad Arbor, I don't know if that's worth anything still. After all these reprintings, I know Walk of Aeons is pretty good. Um, Chroma's Memorial, not too high up there, probably within the 10 to 20 range. Packed. Uh, Glistening is a buck, probably a couple bucks for this thing. Let's put that over here. Caravac. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> Foil, foil, the Dread Return's probably worth something. That's cool. Uh, where is that Gary? This Gary's gotta be worth something. I don't know how much, but probably a pretty penny. Maybe go buy a Jawbreaker with it or something. I don't know, we'll figure something out. Um, that was a time shifted. The Urborg, Tomb of Yagama. That's really good. That was a good hit. Um, what about over here? Uh, Magus of the Moon, uh, Cloud Key's worth something, yeah, I believe. Mir, Miri the cr the Cursed, um, probably a couple bucks. This guy's probably a dollar, to be honest. For a Mythic, it's kind of low, but, I mean, what can you do? What can you do? Um, uh, probably low. That's fine. Let's check our time-shifted cards real quick. Sylvan Scrying, so I think would still be good. Ancient Stirrings, Modern Right, a, another, or a Chalice of the Void. It's pretty good. The Abrupt Decay, that's right. That's worth something. Uh, some personal favorites right there on the keep. The True Name, Nemesis. Really good hit. Farseek, it's just kind of, I mean, it's probably worth four or five bucks, I would assume. It's not too bad for a fetch or ramp card um, what else do we got here beast within 
Courser, the path. That's that's very good. Lava Spike. I don't know. Is that worth anything still? Lava Spike deals three damage to target. That's a lightning bolt. Yeah. Um, it's probably worth something. I'm just not really familiar with all the other formats, but that's okay. I play EDH, really, so. All right, yeah. Overall, the... Not too bad of a hit, to be honest. Um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment. Um, yeah, you guys have a good one.